Yeah, well, good morning, sighted friends. It's the old Mitty Man coming back at you again from Walker's Music. And yes, it's Sunday, early Sunday morning, and I had to pull another all nighter. Yes, I did. I had to pull another all nighter. But I've been up for the long haul doing certain things, people, allowing God to use me and try and just to just reflect, rebuild, reestablish, and renew the mind. This is a never-ending task, people. We have to go, but we give God the glory. We give God all the glory. And uh, we give him all the praise, and we thank him for life, health, and strength. Thank him for as well as it is. And we also thank him for each and every one of you. Besides friends, mid man, he has not forgotten. I just want y'all to know that. I have not been doing a lot of videos lately like I normally was doing. But... <clears throat> Some other things have been occupying my time a little bit, and I want to apologize, but I will be getting back on schedule. You know, matter of fact, I I had to deal with a couple of illnesses and everything. I got rid of that, thank God, and uh, with the help of God only, he got me through it. Uh, I, I fell behind on some projects that uh, I will do. I'm still yet to do my projects that I have. Probably my, my former professor, uh, my music instructor, Dr. Stan Pelton, immediately when I started, well, we got our last conversation, I was trying to do an orchestral piece, and I wanted it to be right, which I knew, and I was going to have to take some time to refresh myself on a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, theory, theory things, or uh, theory, com uh, com how would you say, um, I just going to, I'm going to have to refresh myself my memory and, and my, my skill about a lot of things when it came to <clears throat> composition. And so, but I didn't know it was going to take as long as it did, but because of, <clears throat> in the midst of dealing with these other issues that I've had to deal with in the last three months or better, it's been a, it's been a, a, a real, it's been a, it's been a trial. I'll just tell you like that. But at any rate, we are ready now. We're going out to home church this morning. Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, Pastor Donnie B. Green Sr. They're having our senior citizen day today. You know, we're going to recognize and honor our senior citizens. And I always get a kick out of this day because it, it lets me see them perform in the different areas of whatever the talent was or what, where it used to be. And I won't say it used to be. They still have the talent to there, but sometimes I, I feel that we don't give them the opportunity that they should have to continue, to let them continue to use their gifts in however capacity that they want to do it. So today, we step back. I still be at the keys, but nevertheless, we're going to let them have their way. Whatever they want to sing, we're going to let them sing it. We're going to let them sing it the way they want to sing it, and we're just going to try to accommodate. That's all we're doing today. Mitty Man ain't playing much today. He accommodates. I'm going to accompany mostly today. So what I'm saying, I want, I want to ask y'all something. All you side of friends, when I say pray for me, the man, let me tell you something. You're going to see, y'all already know me as many man all over the net, but now it doesn't matter. I mean, I've been ordained as a deacon. You, you ain't got to call me that if you don't want to. Just call me many man like you always have. But if you want to say deacon, go ahead on. It don't matter. It's going, not going to change my mentality either way. But what I am saying that I want, when I say I want y'all to be praying for me, the man, I want you to call my name out before the Lord. Just don't say, I mean, if you ask me to pray for you, I'm going to put up the temple and I'm going to call your name. I'm going to bring your name up before the Lord. I'm not just going to say, I'm going to pray for you, and then that's, that's the last thing you hear of it. No, we don't need to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We don't need to do that. When you say you're going to pray for an individual, pray for them and bring their name up. And I'm telling y'all, whether you call me Midi, Midi Man, Deacon E.J. Walker, or E.J. Walker, whatever you call me, God is going to know who you're talking about, but I want you to call my name. Bring my name up before the master, and I'm going to do the same for you. When we say we're going to pray for people, people, let's don't just say it just to be saying something. When you say you're going to pray for someone, pray for them. 
Pray for those individuals. Prayer changes things, people. That's all I'm going to say. Prayer changes things. So from many man, Deacon E.J. Walker, or just E.J. Walker, or just whatever you want to call me, from me to man, I'm going to you, I'm going to be praying for all of my precise friends. And I'm going to call each one of your names and lift you up before the master. I want you to do the same for me to man. Call my name. Yes, lift my name up before the master. Let us all do that. Let us pray for each other. Let us be do what Jesus said. Pray for one another. That's what Jesus told. Love ye one another. We got to get back to that. People. We don't got so far away from the love. You know what? We are not going to get anything until we learn to love. Like Jesus said, Jesus said, he gave us two commandments. Oh, yes, he did. I'm not going to ask y'all to guess them, but I'm going to tell you the two. He gave us two commandments. He said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength, everything, and love your neighbor as yourself. In other words, he said, love each other. That's what he told the disciples on the night of his 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 his, his denial and his and his betrayal. He told them, he said, this love, he said, this, this is the way that the people are going to know that you belong to me by the love that you're going to have for one another. People, this is the way it should be in our churches. Deacon E.J. Walker should love Deacon Harry Richards that with the same love that he loved the law. Treat each other right. We are of the same family. We're in the body of Christ. And we, we got more, more stuff and more hypocrisy, hypo, hypocrisy than anything. But we got to get we can get away from that. All we got to do is repent and go back to do do the first thing. Do what the Bible said in the book of Revelation. He told the church of Philadelphia, you uh, he told you you left your first love. We need to get back to the basic people. We need to go back to the old landmark. Yes, people, this old bitter man. This bitter man. And I didn't mean to get all out of whack, but I just want you to know we got to get back to the basic. We got to get back to God. I feel, you know, Pastor Park, another brother of mine, he's also a minister. He's the son of the house of any of y'all. And uh, he said something, we was in a business meeting, and he said something that I've been saying and I have rolled it over in my mind. Where is all the gifts of the Spirit in our church? Like healing. No one's getting healed. I want to see it come back. And I think I know what the problem is, but I'm not, I'm going to hold it for a while. I'm going to hold it for a while until I talk to the master myself. Because I believe I know what it is. It's that love. We don't have that love that running from heart to heart. And without that, that kills the gift. That, 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 that in my opinion, that's just my opinion. I believe that kills the gift when we don't have love that's flowing from heart to heart like the way Jesus said we brought. We're supposed to have the gift of healing. There should not be one sick person in the body of Christ. Now, that's what I believe. Now, some of you may know somebody else that can tell me, you show it to me, I, 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 you know what I mean? A minute man is open. I don't try to act like I know it all because I don't. I'm just speaking what I feel in my heart. I feel that every believer in Christ, every believer in Christ should be healed. I don't think there should be a sick person in the body of Christ. No, no, I'm telling you that I don't, the high blood pressure, diabetes, all that stuff, that ain't nothing for mess from hell. That's come from Satan. It didn't come from our Heavenly Father. So I don't believe neither one of us. Whether you, now you may, you may be battling with that right now, but I'm saying I don't believe that we have to deal with it. I'm like Pastor Parker. I want to see and I want to know where the healing is. Where are a lot of the gifts of the Spirit is? Because we are not seeing them evident in the church. No, no. I know I haven't seen it. And I mean, Lord, if I'm guilty, I'm just guilty. But I want to be right. If if, 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 I'm possess, if I'm supposed to possess and have the gifts of healing that flow through my hand, then I need to get on the job myself. I do. Because he said, these signs shall follow those that believe. Well, well, the sign. We got a lot of people. Including myself, we say we believe. But where are the evidence of the, 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 the signs and wonders that's supposed to follow the belief? I'm like Pastor Parker. It's making me think twice. This is me, the man, saying whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God isn't in it, it's best you come out of it because it's going to come to nothing. Until the next video, next Bible study, whichever comes first, this is me, the man. 
Deacon E.J. Walker saying peace today.